Welcome back to This Week in Bigfoot News. This week, I wanted to talk about the ever-elusive Swamp Squatch, <laughs> also commonly known as the Skunk Ape in the southern parts of the U.S. But before we get into that, I wanted to bring up an actually recent piece of Bigfoot news, not from the swamp. This one is from Oklahoma, and it was actually in the news just very recently at the end of January in 2021. This is a story from the Associated Press that was just posted on January 22nd of this year. Year, and it's entitled, Oklahoma Lawmaker Proposes Bigfoot Hunting Season. So the story is really short, actually. A Bigfoot, no, not a Bigfoot lawmaker, a local lawmaker in Oklahoma proposed a Bigfoot hunting season. And he did this as basically a way to draw in tourism to the area that he presides over, which is the area of the Wachita Mountains. I think I said that correctly. For those of you who are concerned that this would lead to deaths, don't worry, the Bigfoot... <laughs> I keep saying Bigfoot Lawmaker. Don't worry, it is not a, actually a hunting season, it's more of a trapping season with a $25,000 prize for anyone who does manage to capture a Bigfoot. I'm not sure how you would go about capturing a likely 900 pound, eight foot tall ape-like creature. You'd have to spend a considerable amount of time creating a cage for that sort of thing, but maybe someone will do it. And maybe someone will claim that $25,000 prize and science will be able to stop claiming that Bigfoot doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Moving on from that little detour to the actual Swamp Squatch stories that I have lined up for you today, the first one is a video titled, Is This the Palmetto Monster? And it was posted to YouTube in January of 2013. The description of this video reads, with low res, many things look like blob squatches. Hoaxers do not want HD because that will blow the gig. <laughs> This video would look real if not for the new Samsung HD I am using. However, the thing does seem to move a little and have a face. Could it be the palmetto monster behind the tree? And the poster of this video is someone whose name on YouTube is Florida Sasquatch. Let's check it out. So as the poster says, I do see that this is an HD video, unlike most of the other videos that you see of Sasquatch or Bigfoot, which are usually pretty blurry and far away and very low quality. However, I think this is like an HD blob squatch. <laughs> the poster makes a point to say in their description that this is not a blob squatch, that he sees it move and that it has a face. I don't agree with any of those details. I actually think it is a blob squatch. It does not move and I do not see a face. It seems like the poster of this video is in a boat or a canoe of some sort. They're in this swamp. They sort of zoom in on what looks like maybe a tree stump or a log or something like that or a, I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's Bigfoot. I don't think it is anything alive. It doesn't move the entire time. The person who's filming seems to move, but I don't see any movement from the creature in question. If you're seeing something that I'm not seeing, please feel free to comment down below and correct me if I'm wrong. But in this video, I feel like they filmed a log or a stump or something, and it does not seem like a living thing to me. The next video that we're gonna look at was posted in September of 2015. This is a video that was captured by a couple who were on a boat, which you'll see is going to be kind of a theme in this episode. A lot of people are capturing videos of Bigfoots while they're on boats. In the video, the couple is close to the shore. They hear something growling at them, and then they proceed to try and figure out what it is. So we never really get to see what made this growl. There is something in the foreground of the video, but it again kind of looks like it's a log or a stump or something. We don't ever see the creature that has made this sound. The couple speculates that maybe it's a bear or a wild boar, which are common in Florida. People in the comments speculate that maybe it is a Florida panther, which is like a cougar, but in Florida. Some other people in the comments also speculate about what I think is the right answer to this video, which is that it is simply an alligator. I have family in Florida. I've been to Florida lots and lots of times, and I have heard the sounds that alligators make, and they sound pretty much exactly like the growl sound that we hear in this video. I'm actually going to insert 
a sound of a gator growling, so you can see what I mean. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that what this couple captured is just the sound of an alligator warning them to back off. <laughs> so no Bigfoot in this video either, in my opinion. Next up, this one is not a video, it is a photo that was sent into a local news station in the area after another video, which we're going to talk about next, came out. So this photo was sent into the news and the news posted their video on YouTube on January 28th of 2015. The photo was taken by somebody in the swamps of Florida and uh, yeah, just take a look. A fisherman sent us this picture of what he is calling a creature wading through a swamp near USF. So anybody with any common sense will know that this is obviously a fake photo. <laughs> the anchors go so far as to have a quote photo expert analyze these photos and see whether they were run through Photoshop or created in Photoshop or whatever. The photo expert says that they were not, but if you right click on the photo, you can tell that it was at least run through Photoshop. The person who sent it in when they asked him about it said that he had only opened it in Photoshop and hadn't done anything to it, but I don't know, sounds like a lie, to be honest. And also, it, it doesn't even need to be photoshopped. It could be someone in a suit in the water. I don't think it is because this swamp is supposedly like alligator infested. There's snakes and alligators and bugs and everything else. And if you've ever been to Florida, I'm sorry, Floridians, but <laughs> Florida's a nasty place. <laughs> There's a lot of really nasty nature down there that you just don't want to be out in a swamp. I mean, you could get, you know, eaten by an alligator, bit by a snake, sucked on by mosquitoes. It's, it's just not a place that you really want to be. So this is probably a Photoshop. If it's not a Photoshop, it is somebody's friend in a suit in a swamp, which is rather brave, honestly. I appreciate the news anchors in this situation. They really did their due diligence and did some research. They're obviously very skeptical. They say the entire time that it is probably fake and they kind of joke around about it. And I enjoyed that because usually when you get something like this on the news, it's very like, oh, that's so stupid right off the bat. Or it's like, could this be? Bigfoot? <laughs> and of course, both of those things are extremes that I think are not necessarily the right way to handle it. I really appreciate that these uh, news people did their due diligence, they looked into it, and they kind of joke around about it, but still entertain the idea, which is fun. I mentioned that this photo was related to another Bigfoot thing that happened in that same kind of time frame. On January 26th of 2015, only two days before this hoax video was posted by the news site, a video had actually come out in Lettuce Lake State Park in Florida of a Bigfoot that has um, a better reputation, we'll just say, than this hoax photo. This of course is the Lettuce Lake State Park Bigfoot video. It's a well-regarded video. A lot of people put a lot of faith in this video. I tend to think that it's a really interesting video and there are a couple of reasons why I think it might actually be a genuine Bigfoot video. At the beginning of the video, you can see that the creature in question is sort of stooped over, bent over, and is like scooping something or trying to get something out of the water. At first I thought that maybe it was drinking water because you can see its hand sort of doing a scooping motion, but actually after closer inspection, it looks like he's actually trying to catch something in the water. He's like sort of slapping the water. The creature is eventually successful in catching whatever it's trying to catch because it then steps into the swamp and then walks through the water. And you can see as its arm swings out behind it that it has something in its hand, either a fish or a snake or something like that. You can see that it did catch whatever it was trying to catch. This video was posted to YouTube by an account called Bigfoot Evidence, but it was actually filmed by someone named Matt, who funnily enough was in a boat at the time that the encounter took place. But in his original email to Bigfoot Evidence, he says, I was canoeing some of the swamps around Lettuce Lake Park and saw what I thought was a bear. I later told a park ranger about it and she said that bears don't generally get into the swamp and that there were never many sightings in general. I showed her the video and she said she didn't know what it was. I never put much faith in the old skunk ape legends, but when I looked closer, I noticed that it had long swinging arms and moved through very swick, very thick swamp with ease. Certainly can't explain it myself. I didn't get very close, but I hope this footage can be enlarged. Upon later email communication with Bigfoot evidence, he actually says, the Bigfoot evidence people say, Matt agrees with us that if it's a person, 
They were either a moron or completely insane. They're walking, swimming, and diving in an area where there are hundreds of 12-foot gators and water moccasins everywhere. I was there watching it for a while, seemed to notice me, and walked toward deeper water. He then says, it went underwater and vanished. Paddled up there, and it was nowhere to be seen. So that part is very weird. That's something I noticed that upon re-watching this video, I had never remembered the part where he said that it disappeared underwater. That's sketchy to me. That seems really strange. I mean, I guess it's not totally implausible, but if Bigfoot is an ape or a mammal, he obviously can't, like, breathe underwater. So why would he disappear underwater? Maybe it dunked under the water and then got away before Matt got over there. I don't know. That's very possible. But that seems kind of weird to me, so that's one thing that gives me pause about this video. The rest of the video, though, makes me really consider this as a genuine Bigfoot video. You can see that the creature has the right body proportions to possibly be an ape or a Bigfoot. Its arms are very long. It's got shaggy hair. You can't see a ton of detail because, again, this is in a swamp. It's kind of dark. It's far away. The guy who's filming is moving. The creature is moving. But you can see a lot of really interesting detail in this video that really gives me pause and makes me reconsider, you know, whether this might actually be Bigfoot. Who knows? Maybe it's the elusive skunk ape, the Swamp Squatch. I want to hear from those of you watching what you think about the videos that I've covered today. So please leave me comments down below. Let me know what you think. Have you seen these videos before? Do you put stock in any of these videos? What are your opinions on the sound that was made? Was it a gator? Was it a Bigfoot? I don't know. Maybe it was Bigfoot. It sounded like a gator to me, but I don't know. I, I don't have all the answers. <laughs> if you have any answers of your own, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to have a discussion about any of these videos that we've covered today. After you're finished leaving your comment down below, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. That's all I've got for you for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week for more Bigfoot news.